Amen. Amen. And please know it's a privilege and honor. Ukhala pansi as nyawe nizga Jesu ufundi so Jesu ligan kulongon. Amen. It is a privilege to be in an environment like this where you can be taught the word of God. Amen. That is why Uchesu Uchu Mary Mata Lo Ukete Isabele Sita Sokhtales Nyawe Because lenders are in Tola Gazu Puto Mood Are you listening to me? So you did the right thing by coming into the house of the Lord and be taught the word of God because let me tell you when results come after we have received the word of God people will be amazed are you listening to me? You cannot listen. You cannot dedicate your life. It's impossible. Are you listening to me? It's impossible. The only time when the word of God cannot work for you, it is when you hear it and you do not believe it. But the word of God has been designed in such a way that when you hear it, it will profit you. Israel has been designed in such a way that Uma Uliswa Walkolwa it will work for you, it will produce results for you. Amen. Lead us to my chapter 4, I think verse number 2. Lead the same word. We have received, they have also received the same word. But he is saying. It did not work for them. It did not produce results for them. It did not profit them. Because when they hear the word of God, they did not mix it with faith in their hearts. But he's saying, but when we heard the word of God, would we mix it with faith and it has worked for us. Be the good students of the word of God. Why? It is because my study is healing. So let's the signatures as on axonis into fanabus is where once is rule lapa. That's why you must spice it. They keep on soaking your mind in the word of God. Because there are so many theories, so many arguments, so many revelations are wrong. Abant oga to fit our one for the past 30 years. Now the fanaga delete where all that wrong stuff that has been there for years that has shaped your life. Because let me tell you. Your life will go in the direction of the dominant thoughts that you have. This is less. Impilo yako ilandela ushobole mtabange busa njalo lagwe. You will never rise above the level of your thoughts. The Bible says as the man thinks so is he. You are the product of your thoughts. You cannot achieve higher than the level of your thoughts. Your success is determined by the level of your mind. How big can you think? How far can you go? You think small, you'll get small results. You think big, you'll get big results. You are in a process to continue to think big. Your life will go that way. Think small, you will always remain small. Think poverty, you will always remain poor. poor. Think sickness, you will remain. Think lack. I'm always running short. The dominant thoughts. Hey, shortage, 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 lack, you are not changing any situation. Your situation will remain. Change the way you think. You will change the way you live. Are you listening to me? Instead of folding your hands and expect, listen, we participate for things to happen in our life. We don't just pray and fold our arms and expect things to happen. We participate. We have a role to play. Are you listening to me? So when we give you the word of God, we give you something. Amen. Then something a little and get hello. Praise the Lord. So last week we spoke about the power of the blessing. The power of the blessing. We laid a very strong and a powerful foundation 
about the power of the blessing. So we want to continue from there. Now there is a verse that I also want to give you today in Sakubega. Romans chapter 10 verse number 12. Romans 10 verse number 12. The Bible says there is no difference between the Jews and the Gentiles. The same Lord is the Lord of all and he richly blesses all those who call on him. And he richly blesses all those who call on him. So let the Yoguba blessed. Agube clear when which is not for people aba special, but it is for all those who call on the name of the Lord. Are you listening to me? In other words, it is your birthright as a child of God. Lendo Musiswa, it is your birthright. Are you listening to me? When you become born again, when you give your life to God, when you want to live for God, when you say, God, Gizalwa Gabusha. It becomes your birthright. So it's not something that you will earn in the process. No. It's not something that you will work for. No. You cannot even buy the blessings of God with your money. Amen. Let me make it clear. When we give in the house of God, we are not buying the blessings. Amen. We are not paying for the blessings. Because Jesus paid for the blessings. Are are you listening to me, Bazalbam? So when we give, we are not buying the blessing. When we tithe, we are not buying the blessing. The blessing is already in your life. It's your birthright. So when we give and do all these other things, we are activating the blessing. Are you still with me? Or we are just meeting the requirements of the covenant. For example, because that's what Jesus has done. Alright? Spiritually, your account, your spiritual account has been credited with all the blessings of God. So now when you go to the bank, there has to be some identification that you need to produce. There is something that will be required by the bank which is not your choice. I will choose when, which identification must I produce. They will tell you for in this bank, give us this. For example, I bank Gekipa e e e e e id e id card a mini driver's license, but no 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 no. Who led? Sifuna e id get na e id ne ne driver's license. Get a fan ma inge ko iti wa manya ma pen. La. Malo shobo la le check all paid the amount we need an id not a driver's license. Are you still with me? So same thing when we tithe and when we do all these things are just the requirements that give us access. But we are not buying the blessings. It's a matter of having an access. It's like for you to have access into your money and we account that you must put what? Pin code with ATM. Then you get. You understand what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. You see, you must never in life think I am, I am gone. I'm there. I have arrived. Because the most loaded person in the house of God is that one You know why? Because I can't keep house loaded. When I saw keep it, we you don't know with the, how much God has stored for him. Yeah. You know, the Bible, I'm Kala. Baba Bokti. Even in the house of God, we should be prepared and be aware of these things. So that when God begins to do and do great things, we don't become offended, we don't become jealous. That's why you cannot sit in this house and look at yourself when you look those who are driving pickers and feel small. Something wrong in your mind. There's something wrong in your mind. 
In other words, you have not discovered the truth. Ungulungulu has already given to you. That you are already blessed. So you look at those people, Ungulungulu by grace, aseme wazu downloada, kwa letwa kwa manifestation. Then when you look at yourself, because I've got download, me nang loot. Me nungulungulu nkoshi yu. If heaven can reveal how much loaded you are, you'll be dancing and jumping. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So through this teaching, I'm also challenging you to download what God has already provided for you. Yeah. Challenging you to activate. Nobody is broke in this house. Yeah. Nobody is lacking in this house. Yeah. I showed you the verses that he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Amen. He has given us everything pertaining to life and godliness. Amen. Those of faith are blessed with the Abraham blessings. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So you don't have to feel small. I don't have a car. God has not blessed me. You are lying. You are already blessed. Amen. I don't have money. God God must bless me. He has already blessed you. Somebody say activate. Yes, and believe. And believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let's look at the power of the blessing now. Number one. The blessing of God brings fruitfulness. The blessing of God brings fruitfulness in your life. So when the blessing begins to work in your life, when the blessing is activated in your life, when the blessing is at work in your life, it will bring fruitfulness. What do we mean about being fruitfulness? To produce good results. To produce an abundant growth. It also talks about progress, good progress in your life. So as a believer and as a child of God, your thoughts should be progressive thoughts. Your action should be ama action that bring you progress in your life. But how you live your life, live a progressive life. A life that produces results. Not just results, but good results. So when God blessed Abraham, all what he was saying, give good results. You must yield good results. Be productive in your life. Hallelujah. We are not productive. Album Kamalengos. Sleeping for the whole day. Expecting the showers of blessing to come upon your life. Because you are saying you are unemployed. Hallelujah. You don't need to be employed to be fruitful. Hallelujah. So God said be fruitful. Your life should be a progressive life. A life that produces results. When you do not see results, if you miss with it, take some time to fast, take some time to fast and see God's face. If you miss with it, give a special seed to say, Lord, help me to be productive or to be fruitful. Do that. Do that. But never allow situations to rob you. Stagnant. Stagnant life is not the will of God. Your life should be like a river. It must flow. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. Number two. The blessing of God brings greatness. Great success, I mean. It brings great success. It brings great success. When you read 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse number 14. The Bible says, in everything he did, he had great success because the Lord was with him. Oh, hallelujah. First Samuel, chapter 18. First Samuel. First 
First Samuel chapter 18, verse number 14. In everything he did, he had great success because the Lord was with him. 15. And when, when Saul saw how successful he was, he was afraid of him. That's one of the things you should know. That when the blessing comes, there are people who will be scared of you. There are people who will feel threatened in your presence. Hallelujah. Little Bible, in everything, somebody say in everything. Listen, no matter to who will enter to a wisdom. Bagusha, what to a wisdom? When I say in class, when I will pin the three times or twice every year. You have to know now that has to change. Tell you, that has to change. Has to change. Because God can also bless you with wisdom. Mafunda, who changed chapter one, verse number five, lady. Law or Shotan or Shaganipa, tell and Kulungulus of Nigas of Shaganip. Albongi Kamalegos. So great success. So as the church, listen, as the church, we need to expect success in the things that we're doing. The enemy can try to attack us, yes. The enemy can fight against us. Yes. Are you listening to me? But we must program our mind. That we are expecting and we are called to experience and to have great success. Somebody say great success. Great success. Hallelujah. Success does not come by accident. In Pumelelo, are you feeling Jengengos? No, by chance. You program yourself for success. You look at where you are and begin to equip yourself and empower yourself. From where I am, how do I move forward? So, what does it mean? It means now I need to get relevant information. The field thing is gone. What will a field thing is gone? What a calling thing is gone. How can I be a success? You will start listening to success stories. Hallelujah. Listen to what? Success stories. It does in Pumelel. And listen to successful people. Mark Biscuit, you attend conferences. You attend conferences. You read books, you read books. You listen to the tapes, you listen to the CDs. Listen how they have made it. In your field, in your calling, in your area. If you are a manager, seek information. Yalabo, who've got good managerial what? Skills. How they've made it. Businessmen, equip yourself. With Ulabo, who have made it in the business world. We are busy with project, in whatever kind of project. Research, equip yourself. And as you equip yourself, you pray and you believe for great success. Hallelujah. Why? I am connecting to that grace and to that anointing. But one of the best ways, Zonga Pumeleli, that's the best way you will cut off. That's one of the easiest ways. Are you listening to me? Listen and listen to me. Let us learn because the lesser is blessed by the greater. Look for somebody who's greater than you. Go where authority in life. Go where grace in life. And let that person speak a blessing over your life. That's what Mwatamaya Peru 7 says. 
Let the lesser, I think it's 11 verse 7. Let's check it. The lesser is blessed by the greater. Little Bible, it's not 7 7. Yeah, 7 7. Little without doubt, the lesser is blessed by the greater. Hebrews 7 verse 7. The lesser is blessed by the greater. So when you fight with people who are greater than you, go away grace, go away authority, go away anointing, you are fighting against your success. Are you listening to me? You can only receive what you honor. What you speak against, you cannot have it. We criticize. You, you side with abanda ba nomona ba nechelas. Never allow people to back pay tell abantu kuti banja nunga sasela ngawe kuti banja. Have you listened to me? The lesser is blessed by the greater. When you listen to great men, let me tell you, and you read their books, you are wrapping your small mind with bigger minds. Hey, Jesus. In other words, your small mind, you are connecting it. Mama, cool. So what is going to happen? Your thoughts will grow. You'll begin to think big. Why? Because the only way to get the access your wisdom is to read their books and listen to what they say. So your small mind will connect to the bigger mind. Then you begin to think big. And you cannot believe big if you think small. Because you cannot have a big faith if you have a small mind. Because if you happen to have a big faith and in Mondoyaki so you will believe with your heart and your mind will say it's impossible. Then your faith will fail. So your big faith must connect to the mind. Amen. Are you still with me, somebody? Amen. Are you getting blessed by the word of God? Amen. So from today on, do not fear successful people. Don't be jealousy of them. Amen. Do you know in other churches, people are even jealous of their success of their pastor? Yeah. That's why it's now we're a blessed church. 